Thailand's parliament is set to be officially dissolved tonight, paving the way for next January's general election. Prime Minister Chuan Lik Pai needed to obtain a royal approval for the dissolution. The move is necessary before campaigning for the election can begin. The current parliament's four-year term is due to end next week. Mr. Chuan's Democrat-led coalition will remain in power until the January 6th election. India's most populous state is giving away the Himalayas as part of the creation of a new state. The hilly region of Uttar Pradesh has been carved up to create Uttar Rachal. The underdeveloped region has a population of 7 million. It's a second of three new states being formed in India. It's part of a political move to break the country's biggest states into smaller, more manageable areas. Deep-sea divers recovered another note from the sunken Russian submarine Kursk. Russia's deputy prime minister said Wednesday that divers found the note in a seaman's clothing after they pulled his body from the vessel. The note reveals the sailors knew of their fate. There was another letter found, similar to the one found previously. I have this letter in my hand, and the main points the writer says are that he is in the ninth section, there are about 20 people. The mood is bad. We've been weakened by carbon monoxide. The pressure in the section is increasing, and if we try to escape, we won't stand the compression. Klebanov says Moscow has new evidence suggesting that the Kursk may have collided with another vessel before it went down in the Barents Sea in August. 118 crewmen died in the accident. There's no end in sight to the bad weather plaguing Britain. Severe flood warnings are in place on at least 12 rivers, and rain is forecast this weekend for parts of southern and southeastern England. Thousands of properties are underwater, and thousands of people have had to be, be evacuated. At least 12 people have been killed in Britain since heavy rain struck last week. And those are the headlines at this hour. I'm Karuna Shincho in Hong Kong. From all of us, thanks for watching. Log on to CNN.com slash World Report to find out what many of the world's broadcasters are covering in the news. Bangkok, Thailand for CNN World Report. For a unique perspective on international news, log on to CNN.com slash World Report. Today's elephants are descended from a long line of giants. Woolly mammoths and mastodons flourished thousands of years ago during the last great ice age. Today's elephants still challenge our notions of size and power. The world's two surviving species live in the savannas and jungles of Africa and Asia. The African elephant, which can weigh eight tons, is the largest living land animal. Its Asian counterpart averages five and a half tons. Both species are quickly disappearing from the wild, but each faces different threats. The destruction and fragmentation of its habitat has forced the Asian elephant onto the endangered species list. Highways and urban development often interrupt ancient migratory routes, cutting off herds from food sources. Elephants have also lost many of their feeding grounds to farms and cattle pastures. Poaching for ivory is the most immediate threat to the survival of African elephants. Several African countries have implemented conservation programs, but limited resources and political instability often make long-term efforts difficult. The success of conservation programs in Asia and Africa is vital to the elephant's survival. It ensures that future generations can marvel at these magnificent creatures in the wild, not in museums.